Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra, this is Sierra Papa 3, Papa Oscar Whiskey, how do you copy, over. Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra, this is Sierra Papa 3, Papa Oscar Whiskey, how do you copy, over. Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra, this is Sierra Papa 3, Papa Oscar Whiskey, how do you copy, over. Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra, this is Sierra Papa 3, Papa Oscar Whiskey, how do you copy, over. Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra, this is Sierra Papa 3, Papa Oscar Whiskey, how do you copy, over. Good morning to you, my name is Magda. We are calling from Complex of Technical School in Ostrów Wielkopolski. Report for you is five by nine. Are you ready for the first question? Over. Sierra Papa 3, Papa Oscar Whiskey, this is Oscar Romeo for India Sierra. I am ready for taking questions. I'm Kasia. What scientific experiments are carried out on the space station at present? Over. Okay, uh, Kasia, very good question. Uh, uh, my name is Kuntu Wakara. I am here with uh, five we have a lot of experiments going on. Experiments that capillary flow in zero gravity and specimen experiments that test new uh, medicine and new exercise protocols. All of these uh, studies benefit our life on Earth. Over. I'm Michal. How does the magnetic needle work in space? Over. Oh, Michal. Very good question. Actually, I brought a magnetic needle here, and uh, it really points to the north. But you have to take the needle out of the case so that the, the needle can close the I'm Yulia. How do you handle different illnesses? Over. Okay, good, good question. Uh, we go through emergency medical training as uh, astronauts, and uh, we have a variety of uh, medicine on board. And our flight surgeons, flight doctors, are always on board uh, on the ground that we support us uh, via radio communication. I'm Piotr. How would a pendulum clock work on board of the International Space Station? Over. Yeah, Piotr, interesting question. Uh, a pendulum clock needs to, uh, to have uh, pulling force. So here in the microgravity of both the station, it does not work. Over. I am Magda. Was there anything that surprised or impressed you during your stay in space? Over. Yeah, Magda, interesting question. Uh, there are a lot of things that uh, surprised me, but the most interesting thing is that the, uh, the human body can react or adapt very quickly to a new environment of uh, microgravity. Over. I am Oscar. What was the largest mammal, except for humans, which was on the ESS? Over. I am Patricia. How do flying insects? behave in zero gravity. Over. Patricia, interesting question. Right now we do not have any insects on board the station. And I uh, have seen in the video that they acted uh, a little confused in the microgravity floating. And a new cargo ship is coming up this weekend to the space station with some ants on board. And uh, very, we are very much looking forward to seeing the behavior of the ants in the space station. Over. I'm Bożej. Do you know how many centimeters your body ligand in weightlessness? Over. Yeah, uh, Blando. This question. Uh, my height uh, uh, was lengthened by about uh, three to four centimeters. 
I'm Shimon. Is it easy to use a pen or a fountain pen of the space station? Over. That's a good question. Uh, the ink has to be pressurized to be able to use in uh, space because of uh, uh, zero gravity or microgravity. And uh, we uh, often use the Sharpie markers uh, and uh, mechanical pencils on board the International Space Station. Over. I'm Olivia. Do you think that time in space passes faster? Over. Actually, good question, uh, Olivia. I do not feel the difference. Uh, technically, according to the theory of uh, relativity, the time on board the space station should be going a little slower than on the ground, but uh, it is really uh, just a fraction of a second, and uh, you cannot recognize it. Over. I'm Damian. How do you observe and explore the moon? Over. Oh, Damian, good question. The moon is uh, one of our next uh, targets to explore, and uh, it is so beautiful to see the moon from the ISS, and I think we can use the moon as a stepping stone to explore Mars and uh, other uh, planets. Over. I'm Jakub. What or how did you feel when you saw the Earth from space for the first time? Over. Jakub, good question. Uh, it is beyond description. It is so beautiful. And I really felt that uh, we need to protect our precious environment of our blue home planet. Over. I'm Tomas. Dusky Robo work well and fulfill its mission on the ISS. Over. Tomas, good question. Yes, the uh, robot works very well. And although uh, I worked only uh, for a few days with him, and, but I really enjoyed uh, working with him. And uh, he can recognize my face and my voice. Over. I'm Jakub. Is it hard to get used to wifelessness? Over. Jakub, good question. Uh, in the beginning of uh, space flight for about a few days, uh, we're pretty clumsy moving in uh, microgravity. But uh, you can get used to it very quickly. Over. I'm Alec. Is it possible to be able to breathe crystals in weightlessness? Over. Oh, Alec, uh, good question. Yes, we grow a variety of crystals, uh, such as uh, protein crystals, to develop a new medicine and uh, the metal crystals to develop the new and strong materials that we use for machinery on the ground. So we grow a lot of crystals. Over. Thank you for this contact. We are honored that we could ask you our question and you answered them. We are sending best wishes of good health and a happy new year to you and the entire crew of ESS. Taking the opportunity, we are pleased to invite you to Poland, to our city Ostrów Wielkopolski. We hope to meet you at our school and our club. Arigato, sayonara, nanajusan. Over. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I have never been to Poland, so uh, definitely I would like to visit uh, Ostrów Wielkopolski uh, someday. And uh, I wish you the best for 2014. And I uh, look forward to meeting you someday in person in Poland. Have a good day. Over.